Tom Paxton. Thank you. What a treat. It's a long, dusty road, a hard and heavy road. Folks I meet ain't always kind. Some are bad and some are good. Some have done the best they could. Some have tried to ease my trouble and mine. Sing it if you know. And I can't help but wonder where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Can't help but wonder where I'm bound. I've been wandering through this land. Doing the best I can Trying to find What I was meant to do And the people that I see Look as worried as can be And it looks like they are wondering too And I can't help but wonder Where I'm bound, where I'm bound Can't help but wonder where I'm bound one time she had lips like sherry wine she loved me till my head went plumb insane but i was too blind to see she was drifting away from me and my good gal went off on a moon and train and i can't help but wonder where i'm bound where i'm bound can't help but wonder where i'm bound this is the verse I always have to apologize for whenever I play out in the Bay Area because I wrote this song long before I knew you guys and before I came out here and learned the way things are done. So. And I had a buddy back home, but he started out to roam. And I hear he's out by Frisco Bay. And sometimes when I've had a few, his old voice comes ringing through. And I'm going out to see him some old day, you're very kind. And I can't help but wonder where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Can't help but wonder where I'm bound. Now if you see me passing by, you sit and you wonder why. You wish that you were a rambler too. Nail your shoes to the kitchen floor. Lace them up and bar the door. Thank your stars for the roof that's over you. And I can't help but wonder where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Can't help but wonder where I'm bound. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you. God, isn't this fun? I'm really having a good time. I'm having so much fun, I didn't even watch any football or anything today, and I didn't even miss it. Isn't that nice? Of course, uh, if, if anybody knows how the Yankees made out, I'd appreciate it if they'd tell me. Uh, <laughs> Listen, they lost? Impossible. Listen, uh, you may know, you may know that, that I, am, uh, I am on duty 24 hours a day uh, guarding the American way of life. It's, it's my job. And uh, I, do, I do this, uh, and, and scant thanks do I ever get for it, too. And uh, say thank you, Tom. You're welcome. Well, I have recently perceived a danger to the American way of life so dire that I had to quickly write a song and rush it, rush it to you post haste. It might be too late to save some of us. Certainly it's too late to save myself, but if, if I can warn some of you in time, I will not have lived in vain. 
I was out for a stroll just to walk in the pub Checking the scene and seeing what was up I wasn't bothering nobody, I was easing on down the road Just behind me come a pity pity pat I said, good lord, tell me what was that I turned to look and my brain took an overload Down the trail and around the pond Come a thousand people with their underwear on Picking them up, laying them down like mad Puffing and groaning, faces all red Eyes rolled back in their sweat And heads I never saw so many people look so bad Crying, come on Harry, come on Sue We're gonna do what the magazines tell us to Get ourselves in shape the fashionable way 25 laps around the pond will make us tall and slim and blondo Hand me down my jogging shoes today You, you feel the same way, huh? Try that with me Come on, Harry Come on, Harry Come on, Sue We're gonna do what the magazines tell us to Get ourselves in shape the fashionable way 25 laps around the pond will make us tall and slim and blonde or hand me down my jogging shoes today. The noise was strictly rolling thunder. My dog took off with his tail tucked under. I stood at the road, the side of the road, and watched him pass. Their shoes were nicely understated. They all looked terribly dedicated. Some looked strong and some looked low on gas. Some were built like landlocked whales, some wore shorts from Bloomingdale's. Some had legs that looked like six feet long. They'd clearly come to do or die, and as the herd went thundering by, so help me folks, they all broke in the song. Crying, come on Harry, come on Sue, we're gonna do what the magazines tell us to. Get ourselves in shape the fashionable way. 25 laps around the pond will make us tall and slim and blonde. Oh, hand me down my jogging shoes today. I knew that they'd get fit or bust. I knew by the size of the cloud of dust. I knew by the sound of the blisters going crack. I thought I'd head back to the farm. Well, suddenly someone snagged my arm, and there I was in the middle of a seething pack. I was sweating like a fool, I was out of breath I was trying to keep from getting tromped to death I must have been an edifying sight to see I cried, you folks can jeer and scoff But my legs are broken, they're falling off And by now you know what they turned and said to me They said, come on Harry, come on Sue We're gonna do what the magazines tell us to Get ourselves in shape the fashionable way 25 laps around the pond will make us tall and slim and blonde oh, Hand me down my jogging shoes today 25 laps around the pond will make us tall and slim and blonde oh, Hand me down my jogging shoes today Thank you Thank you Thank you I think Joggers have to be the biggest bores in the world, you know. Uh, I, I say this, I say this as, as one who, who has fallen victim to it myself. I mean, I, I go out there and do it, but I find talking about it so ridiculous. And these, how about these books, you know, 900-page books on how to run? How dumb can you get? Run until you're tired. Stop. Take a shower. Go to bed. That's it. Am I right? Well, I want, I want to do a song for you now that's very special to me. It's the only song I've ever recorded that I didn't write. It was written by a guy named Dick Gibbons back in the mid to late 50s. I never had a chance to meet the guy, but I'd sure like to someday. He wrote this song. It's a true story that happened in the, the mines in Idaho uh, earlier in the century. And that's, that's enough explanation. I just, I love the song. I, I thought I'd like to do it for you today. It's called Sully's Pale. I've a thing or two to tell you that I think you ought to know About that rusty bucket Sully carries down below You're not the first one stranger that has laughed at Sully's Pale You're the only one that's laughing now the rest has heard this tale Sure, when we was young and handsome Had some ten years in the game Old Sully had a partner And Jim Riley was his name 
They had knocked about together Bingham, Butte, and Coeur d'Alene And they'd brawled in every barroom From Eli to Fort McLean Now me and old Ted Johnson Sure you'll not remember him We was working at the rarest Had a stop with Sol and Jim The four of us together We was working side by side That's how come I chanced to be there on the night Jim Riley died. Oh, the blastin' had been easy, it was coming out like sand. And we was muckin' out the ore those days we mucked by hand. We was nearly finished and I hadn't heard a sound. But something must have happened, for Jim Riley yelled, bad ground. When we headed for the timberin', Sully must have took a spill. For when we looked back in there, he was pinned beneath his drill. The ceiling, it was grown, and now I'll set to drop the lid. While Sully, pinned beneath his drill, was sobbing like a kid. Oh, there's men can watch their partners die, not throw their lives away. But Riley wasn't one of them, he wasn't built that way. As soon as he seen what happened, hey, hold on there, Saul, he cried. And before he had the words out, he had thrown the drill aside. Now they come around the ore car, Riley wearing a big grin. Guess he never knew what happened when the hanging wall caved in. So he reached the timber in his face as white as chalk, while Riley, two yards back of him, caught 15 ton of rock. Of that day, Sully's pail was buried. He ate from Riley's pail in tears, and he's carried that same bucket now for more than 20 years. So you can laugh at Sol because he's mean and drinks a lot. But don't laugh at Sully's bucket. That's the only friend he's got. sang this song here last year for the first time. I'd like to do it, uh, especially after singing Sully's Pale. It's a song for a friend of mine. He ought to be here, as a matter of fact. It's a song for Phil Oaks. I opened the paper There was a picture Gone, gone, gone by your own hand I couldn't believe it The paper was shaking Gone, gone, gone by your own hand I know I'm gonna spend the rest of my lifetime wondering why You found yourself so badly hurt you had to die I opened the paper there was your picture Gone, gone, gone By your own hand The phone started ringing And I heard about it I shook every time I heard it ring What was my reaction? I put the phone down That was the only news It was fit to sing they ask about Dylan, about McDougal Street and Third. Question piled on question, and each question more absurd. Oh, I opened the paper, there was your picture. Gone, gone, gone by your own hand. Oh, I remember there but for fortune. There but for fortune you and I would go. 
fortune turn its back on you Or so it must have seemed to you And Christ alone knows what was the final blow The last time I saw you The last time I saw you Bleaker street outside the other end I told you I'd see you I got distracted I never saw your face again I heard that you were feeling stronger every day I heard that you were well with good things on the way Then I opened the paper There was your picture Gone, gone, gone by your own hand I remember there but for fortune there but for fortune you and I would go Fortune turned its back on you So it must have seemed to you And Christ alone knows what was the final blow The last time I saw you The last time I saw you Bleaker street outside the other end I told you I'd see you I got distracted I never saw your face again I heard that you were feeling stronger every day I heard that you were well with good things on the way Then I opened the paper There was your picture Gone, gone, gone by your own hand Gone, gone on by your own hand. That's the film. Thank you. Thank you. I think uh, I think that Phil would love this juxtaposition. Oh, lay me down in forest lawn in a silver casket. Put golden flowers over my head in a silver basket. Let the drum and bugle corps blow top while cannons roar. Let 16 liberated employees pass out souvenirs from the funeral store. I want to go simply when I go. And they'll give me a simple funeral there, I know. With a casket lined in fleece And fireworks spelling out rest in peace So take me when I'm gone The forest lawn Oh, lay me down in forest lawn They understand there And they have a heavenly choir And a military band there Just put me in their care And I'll find my comfort there With sixteen planes in the last salute Dropping across in a parachute I want to go simply when I go and they'll give me a simple funeral there, I know With a hundred strolling strings And topless dancers and golden wings Oh, take me when I'm gone, the forest long Oh, come, 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 come Come to the church in the wild wood Kindly leave a contribution in the pail as simple and as trusting as a child would And we'll sell you the church in the dale To find a simple resting place is my desire To lay me down with a smiling face comes a little bit higher My likeness done in brass will stand in plastic grass And weights and hidden springs will tip its hat to the mourners filing past I want to go simply when I go And they'll give me a simple funeral there, I know I'll sleep beneath the sand with piped in tapes of Billy Graham Oh, take me when I'm gone, the forest lawn Rock of ages cleft for me For a slightly higher fee Oh, take me when I'm gone, the forest lawn Thank you Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Stephen B. 
go laying shackles on a year unsad mattress in the solitary section he was made to lie there naked ah, ah, ah. in nothing he could wash with exercise was not permitted Stephen B. Cole and Shackles, compliments of Colonel Goosen. Ah, ah, Africa. Port Elizabeth, the prison. South Africa, the nation. Stephen B. Cole and Shackles, though his hands and feet were swollen. Ah, ah. In the close interrogation, he was like the others he was put back in the shackles compliments of Colonel Goosen ah, Africa ah, Africa he was sick and he was dying prison doctors came to see him when the cops spoke to the doctors they said nothing much is wrong here ah, just a short stay in the infirmary Then it's back down to the shackles On a urine sod mattress Compliments of Colonel Goose And ah, Africa Ah, Africa When they found him in a coma When the man was clearly dying He was naked but they stowed him In the back of a Land Rover Ah, no hospital was nearby, there was no part of a prison, so they took him to Pretoria, 750 miles, ah, Africa, ah, Africa. There was no one on the journey who could help the man survive it, and the medical equipment was just one bottle of water, when they reached Pretoria Prison, they brought no medical records with them, and they said he might be faking. It's a hunger strike he's staging. Ah, Africa. Ah, Africa. Stephen Biko in Pretoria was laid down upon a mattress on the stone floor of a prison, and he died his lonely death there. Ah, now the country was South Africa, the victim Stephen Beacon, the victim of South Africa, the death of Stephen Beacon, ah, Africa, ah, Africa. Thank you very much, all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, listen, this, this next song isn't, isn't so much a love song as it is a, a song uh, about love. It is, um, actually, it's a very personal song. It is a, a hymn of praise to a, to a brave American who has undertaken the well-nigh impossible task of defining for us once and for all the very nature of love, what it is, what it is not, what it can and can never be. This is obviously uh, kind of a diff difficult task and, and great has been the criticism. Hard feelings have been felt uh, and I just felt that if the poor woman deserved nothing else, she deserved a song. Jesus loves Anita Or so it doth appear Lately things are looking strange Or dare I say it queer in spite of controversy so the morning paper said she's retained her high commission to squeeze fruits for heavy bread you squeeze mine anita i squeeze yours anita you've been chosen anita yours are frozen anita terrible cost anita Covered in frost, Anita Smile and pray, Anita You'll feel gay Try that with me now You squeeze mine, Anita I squeeze yours, Anita You've been chosen, Anita Frozen, yours are frozen, Anita Cost, terrible cost, Anita Frost, covered in frost, Anita 
smile and pray, Anita, you'll feel gay. You notice the way the fellas are all singing that in their deepest voices? You know? You'll feel gay, not me, buddy. You spoke in Miami to set the record straight. Gave the folks a target acceptable to hate. Told us there are some things that one never does in bed. One wonders, dear Anita, if you'll ever get ahead. You squeeze mine, Anita. I squeeze yours, Anita. You've been chosen, Anita. Yours are frozen, Anita. A terrible cost, Anita. Covered in frost, Anita. Smile and pray, Anita. You'll feel gay. Anita prayed for guidance, and guidance came to her. It said, Anita, keep the job at a hundred thousand per. If you don't believe in fairies, then they won't believe in you. With an orange clutched in either hand, you know what you can do. You squeeze mine, Anita. I squeeze yours, Anita. You've been chosen, Anita. Yours are frozen, Anita. Terrible cost, Anita. Covered in frost, Anita. Smile and pray, Anita.